Let's go into Nintendo eShop on the 3DS and see what all we're about to lose in the next um, month or so. I'm really going to miss that too. Check on the virtual console in your first. We also have some of the Pokemon titles in Spanish and French too, for some reason. I have to get that for the 3DS still. Not my favorite Zelda game, but it's still enjoyable, I guess, to play every now and again. Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. I gotta get that on my um, 3DS as well. I might probably get Tales Adventure. Donkey Kong Land, Mega Man Extreme 2. Got Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. Galaga. Shining Force. Donkey Kong Land 3. Look at this being Beam Machine. Mega Man 3 for the Game Boy. F Zero. With you. I might do Castlevania 3 uh, one day. As well as Mega Man X. Yeah, you know, like I said about um, Open My Crystal in Spanish, Castlevania Dragon, Dracula X, Mega Man 2, the original one for uh, NES, and Ninja Gaiden, Kirby Stream Course, which is a very fun golf game, or golf like game, Super Castlevania 4, Silent Quest, Super Punch Out, I might go back to that game one day. Legend of the River King 2. Defendants of Releases, Castlevania the Adventure. Yeah, I might play that. He's also on the Switch 2 part of the Castlevania collection. Mega Man 7, Revenge of the Gators, a good pinball game. Super C, Dick Dog, Combs, Mega Man, Sword of Hope 2 for Game Boy, Mega Man X3. Street Fighter Alpha 2 is pretty fun. Ninja Guiding 3. Ninja Gaiden 2, Mega Man 5, Legend of the River King, you got Pokemon Blue in Spanish, Donkey Kong 3, Tokyo Tori, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Tenno, Super Street Fighter 2, Contra 3. Mega Man 6, Yoshi, uh, Mega Man 3 for NES. I heard this game was pretty good, Legend of Mystical Ninja. Pokemon Yellow in Spanish, Mega Man 4. I guess it'd be good for me, but <laughs> I might do this game on my channel one day too. I don't speak Spanish though, or I just never got too much into it back then. 
God, I miss my high school days. What could I should improve on it more? Yeah, some in Spanish and French. Cuckoo Land is okay. The controls feel a little bit weird to get the gist of at some point. Renegade, Pokemon Red. So all these keys aren't that bad of a game, actually. You should check it out when you get a chance. Like a puzzle or strategy game. Alright, guys, this is it for the virtual console in here. And I just lost a chart of battery on my unit here. Don't worry, Luigi about his inside story. Luigi's Mansion, Detective Pikachu. Timo selects. Star Fox 64 3D. Super Mario Land 3D. Work Between Worlds is very good. Ultimate NES Remix. Dark Moon. Guys, question, should I go back? Should I probably get this game on here? Let me know about that in the comments down below if I should pick up this game. If it's worth getting. Okay, Mario Kart 7 is worth. Oh boy, you still want 30 bucks for this game? This game is... No, America 7 came out actually in 20, 20, 2011. Okay, this game is now fucking 11 years old. And they still want 30 bucks for it? Now, Pokemon makes sense. 40 for each one here. Top 100. What the? Are you high, Nintendo? 40 bucks for that? No, I don't think so. I love Nintendo, but sometimes they can make some pretty stupid decisions. And well, 44 Betroid on um, Summer's Returns. This game is good, but I don't know if it's worth that much money right now because it's on a, you know, pretty old, soon to be defunct console. Sadly. Speaking of which, let me go into Pokemon X. Because I'm probably looking to do Pokemon X one day on my channel. This game is worth 40 bucks on here. To be fair, that's actually better than what I found at GameStop, what they actually wanted. 50, some some games that people actually wanted for 60. Alright guys, we got indie games in here too. Yeah, these are about a lot of games. Picross is fun. I love Picross. Liberation Maiden, I might probably check that out. A level 5. Gum and Clive is pretty fun. I'm definitely gonna get Chanty's Revenge. Risky, Risky, uh, Chanty's Risky's Revenge, sorry. Escape Vector. Gum and Clive 2 is great. And the Pirate's Curse. 
I guess I'll get back into the um, Shantae games a little bit more. Yeah, Mighty Switch Force is fun. It's a little bit puzzle and strategic in there too. I have the sequel to it. Langer Video Game Nerd Adventures. <laughs> oh yeah. I got that for the Wii U. I gotta start busting that bad boy out. A big motherfucker in there. This game is really good. Nano, so yeah, it's like a hidden gem on here. I kinda wish it got more um, praise for it than it does. We have the sequel here. This game is great. Yeah, so these are only a handful of games on here that I'm looking at that we're about to lose pretty soon. How much is Room Factory for? 30 bucks. Okay. Gunplay games. Bit trips like a Yeah, some of these games are actually pretty good to look at, and others are just, you know, they're just there. Like this one, for example, it just kind of bombed out there, hence its name Four Bombs. <laughs> yeah, this game is actually kind of fun. I gotta go back into it a little bit more. Also, it's push mode there, too. New releases. Huh? I doubt it. Nico bot. <laughs> yeah, just got bought. Gal Galaxy Pain. What the? Okay, I don't even want to know what the hell that even was. That kind of looked like it was a mound of dung or something. There. I'm sorry. Yeah, what is, what is Bricks Pinball? There's like quite a bit of these in here. What is it like, like out, um, Breakout or something? Word heard. Just for curious sakes, what is this like? Working away from simple to obscure and obtuse words in this brilliant twisty word find a puzzle game. Oh, so it's kind of like word search. Okay. I'm good. I got crosswords plus for that. Shovel Knight is fun. Alright guys, there's only like a handful of things I'm going to show on my video here, but, you know, just pretty much make sure that you get these games on here and the Wii U while we still have time before August rolls right up and stuff, and, um, you know, because by August of this um, year, it'll be to a point where we can't even use Nintendo points cards anymore. They've already discontinued the credit cards on there, so it's only a matter of time before we lose both the Wii U and the 3DS eShops. And then by next year, boom, they're both gone forever. So, um, you know, let me know about what kind of things you might pick, think about picking up on here if you have a 3DS or Wii U, guys. I want to do this video sooner, but I just got caught up with everything else. And, um, you know, I'm still busting out right now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, everyone. Peace out.